Welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people from the Android community. I'm Chuki Chan, and today we're speaking with... Eugenio Marletti. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Well, welcome back. This is your second time on the channel. Uh, yes. So we're not going to actually do all the introduction bit and just jump right into what we're doing today. Good. Today we're doing a pair programming session, mm -hmm. and I wanted to learn Flutter, and I thought... You will be able to teach me a thing or two. I can try. <laughs> right. So I have this app that I wrote a long time ago called Puzzle Pal, which helps you solve puzzles like Sudoku or Braille or Morse or Crossword. So today we'll see how far we can get, but we'll try to re-implement the Braille solver in Flutter. So I'm going to quickly demo the app so that you have an idea of what it does. It has six dots, the Braille dots, and you can select dots on it to represent the one that is uh, going up. And the decoder will tell you what letter it is. So this one is I, and then I can click OK, and it has a buffer in the bottom to mm -hmm. keep track of what letters you have so far. Uh, so right now I'm not really spelling anything, because <laughs> I don't actually know Braille, which is why I need this decoder. So you can kind of keep going, <laughs> and then if you are, in a, you are actually trying to decode some Braille, you can read in the bottom and see what it Reads. and then what happens if you go over the limit? Is it scrollable? Yeah, the oh, whole the thing. The whole thing, is the whole okay. thing scrolls, cool. and you can if you click clear here, it clears just the dots. If you click clear uh -huh. all, it, it clears the buffer. Uh, like so it. I would like to try re-implementing that because there's custom view in it. Yep. There's scrolling involved, and then also this one is on the side is a uh, tax view. Mm -hmm. Maybe not yeah. super interesting, but I think the whole combination yeah. should get us a lot of ground covered. So, should we start a new Flutter project? Yes, we should. All right, so I have Android Studio open, yeah. and I will click Start a new Flutter project. Uh, should we, we mention, a... so you already installed the Flutter plugin, which installed the Dart plugin as well, and then you need to download Flutter manually and put it somewhere. On your right, system. so I actually, That's... before I jump into the deep end of the pool to implement something like a Braille decoder, I ran Hello World. Right. So that's how got me, I got set up. So if you want to follow along, you'll probably need to pause this video and go mm -hmm. back and go, go through the Hello World tutorial to get Flutter yep. all set up. So that yep. is all done. And go to flutter.io. That's where you find all the getting started. Yeah, cool. that's why I already have a button that's new Flutter project. Mm -hmm. Thank you for <laughs> reminding me. <laughs> so now we are going to choose a Flutter application, I yes. assume. Next. And... Uh, we are going to call this Braille. Uh, I think yeah, that's sure. a nice name. Why not? Oh, you probably need to point it. Yeah. Decoder. Brailler. Oh, Brailler. No, not Brailler. Braille. Uh, you okay. probably need to point it to the SDK that you selected, that you copied before. OK, so I will select. I That's not no. there. I double click too early. I will select Flutter. Oh, it's still coming. Okay, so <clears throat> what do you want to talk about today? Well, we uh, no, <laughs> I, I think this is surprising because I've done Hello World already. So does it? But clone? I think you did it on the other computer. Uh, this is has a few other things. Oh, uh, yeah. I see. So, so this is actually first time that we yeah. lied before. Sorry. Well, well, basically, <laughs> what, what, okay. So the backstory is I actually went through the tutorial on my Ubuntu box at home, not on my laptop. I, I can witness. So. It. So we were just resetting up and didn't do all the steps. <laughs> so now it's building Flutter too. You can you can watch the whole thing. Yeah, it's um, exciting. Yes. Yeah, we were we were going to have it. Actually, wait. Yeah. Maybe while this is running, um, yeah. we can maybe start planning how we want to do this. Sure. Right? Sounds good. Yeah. So so this is the the app, and um, so normally Flutter. Okay, I don't know how much experience you have with it. You said you ran literally the Hello, Hello World. world. Cool, then yeah. uh, we want to structure our layout, right? And mm -hmm. so uh, on a very like high level thing, you probably want to start splitting things into like rows and columns. Imagine nesting linear layouts, <gasps> except except this is good. Like it, it's, <laughs> no, it's, you know, except it's more like constrained layout. <laughs> it's, uh, actually, it is. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I mean, of this entire screen, right? Yeah. Uh, how, how is it split? What is the first? container and how does it work? Because you know it better, I guess. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, I wrote this four <laughs> years ago, so I don't yeah. remember. But I'm just reverse engineering my own yeah. app. I would assume that we have 
kind of a linear layout mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. vertical with two so areas. So two sections here. All right. Okay. So this is kind of the fixed width part, and this is right. the rest of the screen. Right. So, so we like split. flexing to, to feel what's yeah. available. Okay. So then we split it this way, and then we split it again mm -hmm. vertically mm -hmm. inside so that the left side is the input for the, the touch input. Right. Okay. So that when I touch in each circle, it will know that I want to dot there. Right. How, and how would you split it, like fix on one side and again extending on the other side, or like percentage? I think it's percentage. Okay. Th it looks like, like two-thirds, one-third. Right, it does. Yeah, yeah so, so let's do that. Okay. Right, and then and then this is a uh, text view, mm -hmm. right, and then two buttons. Two buttons, sure. And then, I mean, we'll get there, but then the, the rest is like a scrolling thing that at the end has a button, correct? Yeah, the clear or button. Right, okay. Okay, so Good it sounds works. like the Perfect. thing we... is done. I don't know why it... No, I think Ask it is again. given. You can go next, probably. I cannot. Oh, I can go yeah, next. Yeah. Ooh, my company .com <laughs> is called squareisland.com. So Ooh. we don't need to include Kotlin support. So again, yeah, you can do that, but for the example, it doesn't make much sense. Uh, so we'll just finish. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So we generally start by, so this is going to create like a hello classic, world. yeah, like the counter. Yeah, the, 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 that's what I call hello world. That's, yeah, the, yeah. that's the first thing you, you compile when you're Pretty trying much. on Flutter. Okay. And we can try running that just to see if everything works as expected. And then we'll start <laughs> destroying everything and starting again. Okay. So just press play, I guess. Uh, uh, oh. It's thinking. Oh, it's Two processes thinking. Okay. running, so Never we'll let mind. it think. Uh, it, it very briefly turned to green the arrow, but, but I was not fast enough. <laughs> but no. But not really. Because I think it's indexing, perhaps. Yeah, the uh, the part that is kind of annoying is I'm running everything on the MacBook Air. That's actually good. So you can see how light. So is that is more waiting than we <laughs> we could have avoided the 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 waiting. But oh, all right, okay. green arrow. There you go. Click it. Okay, I need to switch to the display. Yeah, you, you, if you want, you can actually um, close the ID a bit so oh, we yeah. can have both at the same time. Good point. Sweet. Okay. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. So let's see how long it takes. Shouldn't be long. So anyway, um, so this is the general structure of like a Flutter application. You start with the main method uh, and run app, and then you pass the first big widget, which is your app. Uh, you should not put code directly in here, otherwise it won't be hot reloaded by the way. Oh. Fun fact. But then as soon as you have this, it's fine. So okay. we will keep the, my app, we will probably keep the material app, or you can change the title, etc. but that's... We can I, do that later. Of course. Uh, colors, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it gets interesting once you get to the actual nitty gritty details. So this is the first route, the home, where you start up the first time. Uh, and we can... So our route is kind of like an activity. Kind it of. is. It's. I think fragment perhaps is okay. the best. I don't know. The closest know, equivalent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but yes, and uh, we can change this to call it. I don't know. My uh, just Braille widget or Braille screen Bra or Braille page. I don't know. Yeah. This page, page, the standard thing you call these things. <sighs> there's, there's no standard. There is no standard. It's new All right. Uh, okay. And this works. Okay. Right. So let's yeah. press some buttons. <gasps> Yay! The app works. Cool. Oh, why does it pop that thing? Um, so this is showing you uh, the, the widgets that are it's there. It's deep. It's very deep, but um, the way this works is that this is not your UI. Your UI is actually this, and it's not as deep. Um, these are the mutable parts. This is just uh, hey, meant to create like a diffing so that it automatically updates the property on the oh. real views. Oh, I see. So this is yeah, and this is okay. very light to do. Uh, I want okay. to actually. You can do it. Uh, go yes. to the preferences. This is a nice trick that I love to do. Okay. Uh, search for Flutter, and we. So this is what like it opens the Flutter Inspector view on App Launch. Mm -hmm. You can disable it if you want. It's up to you. Okay. Uh, this will run in there too because we are on the preview. You want to run application with track widget creation so that it shows only your widget and oh. not the ones that get created automatically inside. And um, perform hot reload on save, that's already enabled. It's amazing. So every time you save, it just deploys again. So. Yeah, I like and that. Da, 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 da. And yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Um, I literally click OK. Maybe Ooh. also do format code on save. Yeah, because so I don't know how things are yeah. supposed to happen. And OK. OK. okay.